God. <laughs> Why does someone and make that? And we are live here in Crush hey, guys. Today I'm going to be in my mom's room. And also, we're going to talk about the we history of the, the Great line. Depression and Christmas. So, okay, sure, sure. we should talk about the Great Depression, sure. from the mm -hmm. just like from the worst to the best. So, I'm going to send you the link for the Great Depression. Okay, sure. Uh, I'll do that. I think I know a little bit of it. But also, yeah. um, yeah. hey, um, Alex, also, since um, uh, they he I hear right there that my phone's in the hearing in the background, that you're also in so, the So, press the link, Manuel. Yeah. Uh, the link for it. Hold on. Hold I send it to you. Yesterday, Alex went to a party. Nice. I'm here. I'm here. What was it? The link? Oh. Oh, got, gotcha. 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 Hold on. Yesterday, Hold on. Alex went to a party. Right, Alex? Yeah. That's really? Cool. Well, I yeah. went to a quinceanera actually yesterday. I had to go out of town. That was the thing. I had a. I went to a light. I went to see lights tonight. It was. It was. All right. Okay, uh, I'm in a title now. Yeah. Okay, so what was the Great Depression about? I mean, I know a little bit of the Great Depression, so let's just talk about it a little bit, okay? I learned um, about, I learned, I, I remember that, that I learned the about Great the Great Depression. The Great when Depression I was, in was actually something that nobody liked between the year 1929 and 1939, actually, well, because there were a lot, and I repeat, a lot of conspiracy theories, yeah. even to this day, of what really was the Great Depression. But this was my theory, I believe, most. I believe that it was World War One because think about it. This was the first World War we're talking about, remember? I mean, like, think about this. The year 1914, a lot of modern technology stuff, you know? Like, think about this, like, you know, like, think of Europe, for example, or, you know, the UK, the Germans, you know? That sort of stuff, you know? The French. The French, yeah. Like, oh, the name French. name any name any country. They were, they were involved in World War One. They were involved. Every, they, um, every Europe country was, in was involved. Including America too, yeah, which Italy. we didn't get involved. And I repeat, we did not get involved until 1917, about three years after the war first broke out. And people say, like, why did America took so long to intervene? You know, like what happened? You know, well, two things actually did make a spark about about World War One joining America. Here's one thing: the sinking of the Lusitania. If you guys don't know about the sinking of Lusitania, the, the sinking of the Lusitania was when Germany sunk a civilian ship, taking the lives of 2,200 people on board, actually. Oh, wait, no, hold on. I think it was wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, just need to see the... Just give me a second. It's just that I have, I, have the, I, have, I have it in my journal. It's just that I searched it up. Uh, let me just give me a second. Uh, taking the lives about... Uh, out of... My dad. Uh, 1,960 people took the lives of 1,960 people. Hey guys, also I want to let you guys know that Alex and is backstage because he's in the because he's in the backstage on live. Okay, okay. Let's just talk, let's just not get to this kind of information. But yes, the sinking of Lusitania did make America want to join the war because obviously the entire country was they were upset that Germany sunk a civilian Hey ship. Alex. Hey, what's up? Whoa, 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 be careful. Be careful. Oh, no, okay. Um, anyway, uh, let's get to it. Okay. Uh, my mic. Like, Make sure to meet your mics. Yes, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, like, yes, like that was one thing that made America want to join the war because obviously this became a, a battle cry, or, or in other words, it became a, uh, a wake up call, you know? It became a wake-up call to Americans to realize that what Germany did was that they killed civilians. They killed innocent people in, in the horrible sinking of the Lusitania. And it says here that, of course, it was torpedoed by a German U-boat. But you after you're done talking about it, sorry to, I mean, but, okay, okay, here. Let me, let's let's just, let's just it out. After Hold you're on, done talking it about it, you should talk about the Great Depression of how it all started. Okay, sure, sure. Okay, After this, um, you're done sorry. with the Lusitania. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yes, but the Lusitania sinking, like, my point is, the Lusitania sinking did make America want to join the war because of that. But anyway, let's just talk about the Great Depression. Okay, so the Great Depression was a period of worldwide economic depression between 1929 and 1939. The Depression became evident, or <laughs> evident? Oh, evident, yeah, evident. Uh, I don't know. Oh my God, it was uh, evident after a major fall in stock prices in the United States. The economy 
uh, contagion began around September 20, September 1929 and led to the Wall Street stock market crash of October 24, or, quote, Black Thursday. The economic shock impacted most countries across the world to varying degrees. It was the longest, deepest, and most widespread depression of the 20th century. Between 1929 and 1932, worldwide gross domestic product, or GTP, or GDP for short, fell by an estimated about 15%. Oh, wow, damn. By compression, worldwide GDP fell by less than 1% from 2008 to 2009 during the Great Recession. Some economics started to recover by the mid-1930s. However, many countries, the negative effects of the Great Depression lasted until the beginning of the world of World War II. Devastating effects were seen in both rich and poor countries with falling personal income prices, tax fit, tax uh, renovies, think is it renovies? I don't know. Tax renovies and profits internationally trade fell by more than 50% on an unemployment in the U.S. rose to 23% and in some countries rose as high as 33%. Now, I know there's like a lot of math, but I can actually tell you about how the Great Depression worked. Like in 1918, one U.S. dollar, like think about this, like let's say a one dollar bill, right? You have one dollar bill and you want to buy a loaf of bread, right? However, the prices there went up, like if it's German marks, for example, because, you know, other countries have different types of money, you know, uh, <laughs> Germany has different types of money, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, like back in that day, in 1918, one U.S. dollar was actually about four trillion German marks. Yeah, it just makes money more worthless. You know, it just makes everything so like desperate, you know, and this honestly was like affected a lot, honestly. But I don't blame the economy. I don't. I mean, there was a probably an economy crisis, of course. You know, this was the Great Depression, after all. You know, stock markets started having money problems. Everyone was having. We're living in poverty, of course. You know, because like it was the thirties and the twenties. You know, kind of hard life, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Cities around the world were hit hard, especially those independent on heavy industrials. Of course, you know, constructions was virtually held traded in many countries. Farming communities and rural areas suffered as crop prices fell fell by about 60% faced with the plummeting, demanding, and free and fewer jobs alternatives. Areas dependent on primary sector industrials suffered the most. The economy historians usually consider the catalyst of the, the Great Depression to be the sudden devastating, quote, collapse of the U.S. stock market prices that started on October 24th, 1929. However, some dispute this conclusion. Seeing the stock crash less as a, as a cause of the Great Depression, more has a symptom of rising nervousness of investors, partly due to gradually price declines caused by failing sales of consuming goods as a result of overproduction because of the new productions techniques. Falling apart, fell, I mean, falling exports and income equitably among the other factors that had already been underway as part of a gratitude depression. Uh, some yeah, of and also, also, and also in 1936 and during the Great Depression, in the, in the fancy, in an alternate universe, where the island of Sodor is at. The mid Sodor Railway lost passenger traffic and the selection from Arsdell to Oilsburg along with Mountain Road was closed and three of its engines included. Five, Albert, six, Jim, and seven were, which were kept sold to finances. And, and there was for those else who too. don't know who Albert, Jim, and Tim, there are the other mid Sodor engines that ran alongside Duke, Stewart, and Falcon. Oh, yeah, they were the ones. And also, there's something else, too. Like, I know people don't know that much about Titanic, but, like, if you guys did not know, Titanic actually had two sister ships, the Olympic and Britannic. Olympic was actually one of the oldest ships, actually. And it would sir, it was, like, built between the 1910s, of course, you know, Titanic's day, you know. Like, the Olympic was actually, was supposed to be taken out of service after the First World War, actually, because it was you know, as a military ship. But long story short, in 1929, of course, the same year that the Great Depression happened, yeah, that's when everything went bad. Because for starters, 
they had no choice. The White Star Line decided to scrap her. And, yep, they scrapped her, honestly. Yeah, and also, one thing, there are some other things we need to talk about the Great Depression. Because, did you know that there was songs, there was this Hungarian so, song that was created during the Great Depression in 1933? It's called the, the Gloomy Sunday, which is the Hungarian suicide Gloomy Sunday. Song. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, wow. I did not know that was actually in the, wow, I did not know. You've heard of that song. Yes, I, yes, I've heard you, that song like at least uh, two or three times, but yes. But, and also, because they made it a suicide song, a lot of people in her gear commit suicide by falling off a cliff and also killing themselves with guns or poisoning them, knifing them, or even involve getting hit by a train or a car. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't, or drowning. Uh, and I don't we know. all know that people have suicide problems. Eh, yeah, dude. I mean, like, you can't blame them, dude. You can't prevent them from happening. They're gonna do it no matter what, dude. And That's also, and, and and also, remember Thor Thunderbolt, what Thunderbolt 1000 Star Production said in this going to the question about suicide was certainly the worst ways to end one's life? Yes, of course. Of course. Like, yeah. I mean, that, yes, yes, well, and will there. people even care about you when you when they will miss you? And if you actually do that, then you and I mean, like, I mean, I mean like, that's what led up with that, the then you're gonna, of the Glendale you're train gonna accident. Remember, him? Out all the things that you love, and you can go, oh, actually, go to hell for that. Yeah, of course. But like, this is something else that like nobody knows. Like, take a look up at the Glendale train accident. Look at that. The suicide driver like ditched at the last minute because he changed his mind. He changed his mind, and he couldn't move the car because it was rainy that day. And cause accident the train and, hit it, it and, it called, and it killed and killed eleven people. And luck. And then in 1938, a comic series made by a guy named Jerry Siegel, along with the Joe Shutter, who made the most infamous best superhero that would change the era in history, named Superman, which is a famous superhero called DEC. -E and its date debut in June of 1938. Yes. Like... That's exactly, I mean, like, I'm going to be honest, like, that's exactly one month after Spoken Portland and Seattle E1484 North and Type Steam Locomotive Number 700 was built. Which still, which is nowadays undergoing an overhaul to running condition, and hopefully will run again sometime in 2023, once the overhaul is complete, or in 2024. I hope 2023 will be the prediction on when it's actually going to run. Because another steam locomotive ran after its overhaul, which is Santa Fe 3751, and also... Steam locomotive <laughs> And also, oh my God, what the are what also the undergoing an on? overhaul. They're starting to do that with the Santa Fe 3415 and the Albumina Smoky Valley. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 Also, oh, God. Please. All right. All right. I'll and don't forget. Uh, and don't forget. And also, don't forget the Reading and Northern 425 steam locomotive, <laughs> which is undergoing an overhaul. And also yeah. another thing that caused the like, Great Age Depression, the some of the Soviet Southern US? trains, Southern, Southern Railways Crescent Limited trains were canceled during the Great Depression. And also for the Santa Fe 5000 steam locomotive, why she didn't receive at her siblings, any siblings, it's because of the Great Depression because it hit the US railroads a lot, extremely hard and taking it to the extreme. Those railroads decided to, to develop new steam locomotives Motives that are not siblings of Madam the Santa Fe 5000 steam locomotive, Madam Queen, because it's the one steam locomotive that history forgot about and quite overlooked and quite uncommon. And it's the Santa Fe 5000 class 2104 Texas type steam locomotive built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1930. And also as a result, Madam Queen, aka Santa Fe, Santa Fe 5000, aka Madam Queen, never received any siblings as a result. And this is one of the reasons why she's the only sip playing uh, Santa Fe 5000 steam locomotive around. Just nowadays, it's at, at Amarillo on display at Amarillo, Texas. And people are planning to build a, sh build a shelf uh, to protect her from the vandalism. And hopefully, oh, one of these the days, they news? can restore the steam hey, locomotive. Yo, yo, like they they can restore the steam hard. locomotive with the Santa Fe. So it would triple head with Santa Fe. Tw will 
hexa head. And in case you don't know what the word hexa head means, it means 60 locomotives hauling one train. That's what a hexa head means, which means the number six. Just like the heck that crazy proposed hexaplex locomotive that would be longer than the Erie triplexes and the one and only sole quadruplex locomotive that was built in Belgium. And man, Belgium was really with mad science experience. Because what I've heard from History in the Dark, Belgium actually built the quadruplex, the Fransco Crossley anti sister now, boiler locomotive. Yeah, of course. And I also, Alicia, I also the locomotive was so well. powerful that it could have easily broken the broken the coupler it was using at that time, and then the Russia and also the so Russia, aka the Soviet Union at that time, was also going to form a proposed and hexaplex locomotive, but. Thankfully, it never got built because it will cause more problems. And it and they're acting like retards because of this, Manuel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's not say that R word, please. That's just, I promise, that's just Manuel. Just, just don't say that. But. This is a question I always wondered about something else. Like, a lot, like, I remember my uncle used to say that a lot of, that Germany were proud of their technological stuff. And that is true, right? That's true that Germany back then used to be obsessed with lots of technological stuff right even the uk especially right? they make making new military car advertisements sometimes playing advertisements during the great depression yeah and yeah but that's my, but trains, the point like is like my point my locomotives. question they try yeah. to do that with some other types of locomotives like these are electric or propeller locomotive which could be ridiculous just like hugo the 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 sheen and zeppelin train you know Hugo from yes, Thompson Friends. The Sheen and Zeppelin. Actually, his real life basis didn't work because its propeller on the back can easily wipe people out. And sometimes it can get it, the people hurt if people are staying really too close to a train with moving a propeller. Which you, which can, is, which is putting tra propellers on trains is actually one of the worst trains ever. According to History in the Dark. Yeah. And speaking but of like, him, Manuel, yeah. have you watched? Um, how, are you at what part are you at of History and Ducks? Hey, yeah, let me just go on my search history on my YouTube channel. Uh, just <clears throat> give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, right now, I'm still at the same playlist as last time, but I'm almost. Uh, it's almost done. That playlist is almost done. You're almost. Playlist. You at part number? Uh, I was at nine. I remember it was at nine. I'm almost halfway done. I'm halfway there. You said that you were in part 12. Part 12? Hold on. Let me see. Part 12? Oh, yes. Yes, it was part 12. Yeah, I remember now. Yep. It's because my search history is so, is so. oh, my God, so bad. It says that, Did I, you that watch I didn't watch 9. Did you watch part 9. 13 yet? Tar that's, how, that's where I'm going to go, actually. I'm still and in the part last part 13, episode. make sure to watch parts 13, 14, and 15, and 16 if you have enough time and no homework tomorrow. If I have, if I have enough time, then yes. All right? But like, if I have enough time, then sure, I'll do it. But yeah, I have and also too, another an, another depression. railroad that suffered from the Great Depression. It's called the Florida East Coast Railroad because the Great Depression put a serious depth on the Florida East Coast Railway's finances, and the once proud railroad declared bankruptcy. And despite all of its losses, the Florida East Coast some of their four two mountain type steam locomotives to other railroads like the Western Railway of Alabama, the St. Louis South, the Western Pacific, the St. Louis South. Out the Western Railroad, but aka the Cotton Belt, the Western Pacific Railroad, and the National Railways of Mexico. And yes. too bad those 482s don't exist because of dieselization. But imagine if all of them existed at once, then we could have had a lot of them preserved, and a lot of them would have been excursions. True, true. But I was going to ask you because we only have 15. 15 we only have 19 418 mountain type steam locomotives in North America. True. Also, oh, I have another question too. What what about America? Think about this. Oh, yeah. What oh, is America yeah. lost companies of passenger of passenger trains like such as uh wait, when was Amtrak made again? I forgot. Was it 1971? Year? Then 1971. people then trains wouldn't have it would have existed and would have been a lot of them would have been displayed. Yeah, it would have been preserved and scrapped, tragically, and people would use more like cars and trains or like, come on, 
I mean, like, oh, we're like, come on. Why can't you just do the trains? These to be way popular back in the days. It could have made back in the more days, yeah. Dude, like nobody. I mean, dude, everyone back then in cars. There was no cars back then, so we had to ride what horses? Trains. Well, trains, yes, but also actually, horses. Actually, um, horses too. There's a. There was actually old cars that used to be a uh, old game. cars. Yes, there were old cars. Don't get me wrong. There still were, well, but the, they the were old, unreliable. The, the, the old they cars older older than the cars that run not run on gas exactly like they had to run on horse or something you know <laughs> but like the thing is what are some of the companies that a lot of that from um shoot what was it um yes yes um just a little question myself it's just what are some of the engines that were lost during that day? Think about it. Honestly. Like, like just tell me this. What are some of the engines, <laughs> like steam engines in America that were lost during the Great Depression? Like, do you have any some? Like, what were some? Well, of the there are some steam locomotives, I believe, that were lost during the Great Depression. Like, during the 1930s, like a Canadian National 280N Class 280 Consolidation Type Steam Locomotive Number 2727 during the Great Depression in the 1930s, while the, in Canada, somewhere in British Columbia, uh, it, the, one of the, it sunk. Oh. Somewhere, like, at a lake. I'm going to find it at steamlocomotive.com. I think it's, I think in it might the, be that, dude. You never know. Then guys, it's all the Great Depression was also the reason why I'm looking at some sur abandoned. surviving locomotives at steamlocomotive.com. All right, so the Canadian National 2727 was also classified as an N N class 280 consolidation type steam locomotive, and it hit a rock slide and fell into the Camp Loops Lake in on January 14th of 1934, but it, no evidence of it has been founded. <laughs> oh, hey, Diego. Hey, guys. Yeah, hey, what's up, Diego? Um, Diego, but, like, did you some join of my these... Discord server? Not yet. I was just watching. Um, okay, I was sick. watching um the episode where James like James and the billboard poster. I just watched. I didn't watch the full episode, but I did see the. Scene you mean there. James second? James second best engine? Yeah, yeah. It's like, one of the worst. I was watching the one, I, My favorite scene it was funny. I mean, yeah, that did not make any sense show. at all. Listen, listen. That did not make sense at all. My favorite scene was when uh, James moved in front of Edward. Yeah, and he just and he and he just and of course he saw a signal. He applied the brakes, but then Edward couldn't stop, and he bumped into him, and they ended up crashing in a poster. No, that, no, that no, no. Make any sense. Remember how the... did they end up getting the poster? Like the like the tracks. I saw the tracks. I swear, I always rewind, and I saw the tracks leading up to the poster. I'm like, guys, you serious? Did you see the scene where I think they were trying to? I think they were trying to make guys, it look guys, like guys, that guys, they derail remember? and crash into. Seems Oh, yeah, but I saw the, I was no. like saying you should have made it more better. They would have hit a rock or something. If they didn't hit the rock, then maybe that would have been more better, honestly. But why yeah, add more to track? Did you see just, the one where Sir Tom things... Hat says, Jerry? Oh, yeah. I saw that. So, yes, yes, Diego, yes, I sent you the Discord link so you can join. But yes, like that episode. Diego, you no, see the link. Yeah. Make sure Back to press it. It's in the episode, comment but... section. Make sure to find it and it, Diego. And then me. To be honest, I think I think Michael Brendan actually did do good in Angelus. I mean, Angelus did okay. So yeah, Angelus did good. So do you prefer Angelus from season seven? Because I kind of feel I gotta like, go now, guys. I think, I think I'm going with uh, Michael Brandon. To be honest, he did great. All right, see you later. He did great at season seven, but I prefer. For the original music for season seven with Michael Brand and the fan made videos. Yeah, sure. Honestly, I mean, like, I mean, like in Emily, but, um, like, we're but about there Emily. were only Emily three Michael Brandon voice. episodes. There were only three Michael Brandon episodes from Thomas and Friends that was featured in a DVD called Thomas and the Jetta Engine. Three season seven Michael Brandon episodes with the Campbell music instead of using the Welsh music. It's season six, right? It was season six, isn't it? <laughs> 
Yeah, it had three season six episodes, which are Thomas and the Jet Engine, Percy and the Haunted Mind, and Scary Engines, and also the season seven episodes, Harold and the Flying Horse, Balti Reds Again, and Salty Stormy Tail. Another example, the locom. Another example, those had the original season six music, season six Campbell music uh, with Michael Brandon, but the rest of the Michael Brandon season seven episodes had Welsh music. Huh? Yeah, uh, it is. Yeah, and also, I feel like, like, and Angela sounded a little bit dull between season 7 and 12. So Honestly, yes, yes. I do agree with do that. Do you prefer yes. Brandon for season 12, uh, 12 over well, Angela? I prefer Michael Angela's only in season 5 and 6. That's seasons, it. Do you mean seasons 3 to 6? Seasons three to six, yeah, obviously. And how about well, season not season 12. three? I didn't, see, I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't like him in season three and season four, to be honest, because I didn't like that much, you know. How about season twelve I, of Angela? Season Angeles? twelve, yeah, he was okay. Season twelve, yeah, that's what I like about him, you know. Because Both of them, Brandon. And they made Brandon Scott Lowry worse. To be little, they made Scott Lowry worse. Also, Brandon sound, Brandon. Uh, Brenda didn't sound can sounded a little bit dull, but no offense to Brenda, but he sounded a little bit dull between between seasons thirteen and sixteen in the nitrogen era, while Angela sounded way better, like when he was in season five and season six. I know. Yeah, and also, so you remember Thomas Fan two sixty ones is video. Yes, I saw the narrator. The narrator ranked. Yes, being ranked, yeah, and Pierce Bronson is the worst narrator because he <laughs> just put everyone to sleep in the Great Discovery. Oh my God, there's there's no there's no telling, there's no denying. I actually did fall asleep. I fell asleep and I woke up until when Tom was like floating towards the 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 river. That was the one that woke me up actually because I heard I heard it goes he flew towards the answer and he hit the ground with a bump, something like that. I don't know. Oh yeah, they could have added. Angelus or Brandon? Honestly, they could have just added him. They could have just added him. What the heck? Like, what is come wrong on, with like, him? On, no. So after the recordings, they should have replaced him with Angelus or Brandon. It could have been or much what better. What about Baldwin? Wasn't wasn't he? How about oh, wait, Alec Baldwin retired. would have done that? Imagine that. I mean, I mean, he would have done great. He would have done great. Not gonna lie, but but like, George remember, Carlin six... also would have done that to right. He would have done that right before his death in two thousand and eight. To... True. True, I forgot. But the reason, like, everyone says about why Alec Baldwin sucked in season six was because he had a divorce at the he time. He has to be so good in season five, but he was boring in season six. Yeah, he got way, way boring. And 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 actually, I actually found a Thomas fandom, and one of my friends in Discord called Train Fan Two Thousand Four. Me and him were in the VCR, right? We were in the in the voice chat room, right? I was telling him about like you know we were just discussing different topics, and then I was like. I pointed out about a Thomas episode. Oh, guys, six, sorry, I wasn't. And in the he bathroom. said that. And like, one is thing. He did a fan art. It's because he did a fan art of Thomas and like of the line where Mr. Conductor said, you know, Sir Topham had already warned me about Diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. You know, like, like remember from the Magic Railroad scene? Yeah, he did that fan art actually. And I and I commented in his in his artwork saying, "quote Alec Baldwin did good. And actually, was a great narrator." And then he replied saying. Yes, he was, but I prefer Michael Angelus better. Yeah, like, because yeah, Michael Angelus sounded so funny. I mean, yeah, yeah, he did sound funny. Not gonna but lie. But season seven and eleven, he sounded bad. For example, yeah. in season eleven, he sounded extremely like weak and take it to the extreme. But no offense exactly, to Angelus, yeah. but yeah, he sounded he, he so sounded in the Hector and the Hector the Horde episode. He sounded awful and didn't do Hector's voice as well. Well, yeah, but Michael, Michael Brandon, Brandon did, did so with the great. And he like, Hector the keep away. Uh, yeah, Just yeah. like the no, but voice. Michael Brandon did good in that episode. And he also, don't be silly, Billy. Angela oh, yeah, didn't do so that true. great with Billy, but it, Brandon was at a blast with Billy. Like, 
Billy, he, yeah, he, he did was great with Billy. For Billy. He did just great like with a Billy. kid throwing a temper tantrum. Like, stop telling me what to do, Thomas. He goes, You're being a bossy boiler. Boiler. <laughs> yeah. Dude, man, Thomas, like, do whatever you want, Billy. No, I felt like, <laughs> no, no, no. If there was a scene I don't of like that, that. I would just, don't like, you know, like, how, like, you know, how, like, the work whistle is, you know, like, how someone gets mad, you know, like, their boilers start, like, you know, like, their sound like steam, like a little Yeah, and also, yeah, that would be yeah, I'll be like, do whatever thing, you want, Manuel. Billy. Manuel, yeah. I think mm-hmm. you, did, did you saw Thomas Fan 261's is is a uh, react rating your Thomas Col- home media collections? Did you saw? Uh, I don't video? think I have actually. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Oh, I'm sorry. Try I think at your video. collection might have been in a video. I'm gonna send it to you now. Yeah, send it to me. Send it to me. Send it to me. Because like, I'll send it to you. Right they now. post so many videos, dude. My my YouTube has a lot of notifications, dude. Sometimes I miss them. Hey guys, did you, you did calling? you subscribe to his channel? What are you doing, Alex? I, I How about history in the dark? How about history in the dark? Yes, he is, he is dark, like yeah, doing that. Uh, I did. I'm not gonna show my face. Him too. See? Okay, uh, see, it's cool. It's cool. What like you the thing guys? is, like, Let's like go. I don't think that Michael Angels was actually a good narrator. He was a good narrator, but I actually forgot. Like what do you think, else, I, I just didn't remember this until I saw Unlucky Tugs season three review. I actually forgot that. That what Ringo Starr was actually um, premiere of seasons one and two. But do you guys like Ringo Starr better in season one and two? Or do you guys like George good, Carlin? Good drawing, Alex. Nice. I sent it to you, Manuel. I sent it to you, Manuel. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, that one. Yes, I did. I actually did see that. I did see that. Did oh, you saw oh. your collection? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What did, oh my God, what did he say? Uh, well, he, I, I actually commented in his video. I don't know if that comment's still there or it's probably already filled with other comments. But I said I used to have a shelf and that I showed it with the with a TikToker, my friend, called the Magic Railroad Studios, actually. And he also has another thing as well. He also has a shelf of Thomas collection. Mine was featured, but he saw the telephone next to it, which was fair enough. Yeah, and he also saw the, he also saw the, the, oh my god, this is something else. He saw the, what's it called? I don't remember. It was something in my shelf, but I just don't remember what it was. I think it was like a door up thing or something. I don't know. I don't know. Was it like I a what remember. again? I think it was like a, like a plush door. I don't know. With the plush door to explore? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, so. I hate, well, you don't have door from door to explore. No, no, it's because like my mom put my mom forced me to put that. Honestly, she forced me. <laughs> you why not sell it? I don't know. I tried telling her. <laughs> I tried telling her. Tell your mom to sell it on. I don't eBay. know. I don't know. I told so her not what? to put it on my shelf, and what she did? She did the opposite. She just did that. I just said. I just said, Mom, stop. Nowadays, there's door. Dur- we know we hate Dora. Like, honestly, Dora, it would have been better there's a lot of grounded shelf, videos. Wait, let me, uh, Same with shelf. Caillou, Little Bones, the top. Kylie hey, and uh, Satari and Tokira and Zara and Annabelle, but no offense what? to to be and yeah, not no to be racist. To be honest, no offense to, to be African American people that, but I got rid of it, without racism because little balls African American. Yeah, I just no took a picture to with it to be honest. I should have just got rid of it to be honest. I should have just got rid of it. <laughs> and so one, and also, did you prefer? Do you prefer uh, Carlin or? Or Angelus in seasons three to four. Carlin seasons or Angelus. three to four. To be honest, Carlin did good in season three. Think about it. He did great. You know, he did good. He he actually did great in season four. Think about it. He did great. But he sounded four. like a grandpa. So do you telling a bit, it's a bedtime story. That's what unlucky tongue said. You, yeah. so do you? I mean, yeah. A, I mean, unlucky tongue said Brent, about like do you making think season Angela, four. Do you like that Angel- is so true. That do you like so Angelus or George Carlin in season four? It's season four. I would say Angelus did great. Honestly, Angelus did great. 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 While George yeah, Pond sounded a little bit like a grand, but with one uh, he, annoying. But he sounded flaw. good. He sounded good altogether. They're both great narrators. That's the thing. They're both great narrators. So I mean, I, I mean, look at George Collins season three. And season three. One. I mean, did you and not see James Thomas? scream from when he got stung prefer- by a bee from that episode? The buzz, buzz. Yeah, buzz. and also, <laughs> yeah, George really did way better. And also in season th- three, do you prefer watching George Co- the U.S. dub or the U.K. dub in season three? If season three, I would say probably honestly, now that I'm into it, now that I'm actually rewatching the UK version, I think I prefer watching the the UK version, to be honest. The UK, UK version. And also yeah. I prefer the UK versions between seasons one to six. Season seven to eleven, the US version. Season twelve, the UK seasons twelve, 
to all the way to 24, the UK version, but not all engines go, which is trash. Yeah, honestly, no, no, I'm gonna say it's just it's everyone's it's big mid. fear. It's just mid. Uh, mid, you know, What's like, everyone's yeah. big fear? All engines go, which is the Thomas. Yes, Bruce. we know. And that's, yeah, that's honestly, they literally massacre Edward. Look at Edward. He has six wheels. He does have six wheels. He has four. What four wheels. Like he's a cut in half version Mattel, of the Pennsylvania Railroad F1 duplex. And also, and and also a six, a, and also a six four version and a cut in half version of a Pennsylvania Railroad S1 duplex and an S2 steam turbine. Which like, both of them are also guys, bad, but all engines goes way worse. Did you guys know that on Netflix there was a CGI oh, no. Thomas, but yeah. it's the Thomas Big World Big Adventures with Neon. Oh, Rebecca. and that's when they replaced Edward and Henry. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. but that also just, like, that just sucked. Honestly, there's no respect, question about it. I mean, they got rid of Henry. Come on, why you, you get rid respect, of Henry? You guys respect my Edward. Opinion Come on. on, Thomas Big World Big Adventures, the movie that I've seen. This is an absolute sin of what Mattel did to God. Mattel literally just did the opposite of what and violated the Ten Commandments or something. Too. That's literally the opposite. Like, there's no doubt. When I when I was but anyways, a, I, was school, a, I learned about also the, also some railroads are and also let's for the Great Depression there are some railroads that have some Art Deco designs of famous streamlined passenger trains and famous types of trains and fa a, a, a famous train events and. Faint, and also some famous famous train rides uh, during the Great Depression. They had to make the art. They have a lot of Art Deco style, like the 20th Century Limited for the New York Central Broadway Limited for Pennsylvania Railroad, the Hiawatha from the Milwaukee Road, the 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 Isle the Sheenan Zeppelin for Germany, the Flying Scotsman, the Mallard, the Silver Link, and the Silver Fox, the Coronation Scott, and also the and also the pacemaker for the New York Central, the Royal Blue, oh, to and the Chessie, Chessie Streamliner, Manuel. But tragically, the Chessie Streamliner was canceled in 1948, thus making the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad M1 class steam turbine look. Yeah. which are absolute failures to me and by 1950 like honestly like what about were, some of the steam engines that are preserved i think we did talk about this right did we, did, did we talk about those the engines that were in preserve yeah something? and also there are a few steam turbine locomotives that actually work and some of them might have been preserved a lot a few of them have been preserved to be honest, like when I heard about some of these things, I mean, there was like, think about this, like think about the, the 20s, think about the 10s, name any any year that there's been lots of accidents, to be honest, like let, we all see like the infamous two trains, steam engines colliding with each other. Like we've seen those kind of videos before. I've seen them like a lot. Yeah, but I don't think, I think a few steam turbines might have done that. My, uh, people say that like it was accident. actually like think about this like people say that that was actually a crash test like a scenario test of what would happen in the in the of an event of a train accident you know which i don't blame them to be honest because like they had to prevent accidents from happening again that's the thing yeah just like the accidents happen song from thomas but we can't take it because it's copyrighted yeah it's copyrighted but i wish but we could put the headmaster one actually that's not copyrighted yes Oh, by the way, I was also trying to think of a new video. You guys know the snow song? Do you think I should put that for my M my version? Because I yeah, did, I did Winter also, Wonderland I last mine, Christmas. I'm gonna do my version, and also Winter Wonderland too. I already did Winter Wonderland ever since last year. I'm not doing snow songs. And you know? also, don't forget at the and also look. Speaking of Christmas, we should talk about the history. So I'll be talking about the Christmas history okay. of Christmas. So yeah, just send us the link. Here's so how Christmas began. It. It all started a long time ago during Christianity time. Mary and Joseph were Mary was pregnant and told her his her husband Joseph that she's going to have a baby. And then suddenly while Mary at night while Hey Mary guys, I'm going to go. Oh, while you, Mary was asleep. See you later. Yeah. See you real fast. See ya. Eep at night. I decided to go downstairs and then all of a sudden, she saw an angel 
from the heaven appeared and told her that she was going to have a baby. And they called, told him to name the baby. Wait, baby I think I actually Jesus. did hear about the story. Let me guess. Let me guess. Um, The story, like, it all started, like, how, like, they were on their way back to their, like, and it was nighttime, and now they needed, like, they need, like, Joseph needed a, a, an animal to carry her wife. And that, and, and it that was a donkey. Some considered it a donkey, one, right? but some, and also, there, some of them were done with a horse and also, or a camel. Or uh, or pony, but no. But most likely a donkey because it and it was, was small. Cars were invented at that time. I saw the TV. I saw the TV uh, show. Actually, I saw the movie. Because in the greatest adventure stories from the Bible and the beginners Bible and the greatest years and legends of the Bible, they actually have that. You've seen those. Yeah, of course. Including and the beginners Bible, the one from 1995, and. Greatest Heroes and Legends of the Bible from 2002 or 1998. Yeah. Yeah, I've but, seen those, and I have the complete series of the Greatest Heroes and Legends of the Bible. But one I forget about, like, small that one. They forgot small to one add, did actually, one they annoying donkey, actually. that they, got to, they forgot to add is they forgot to add the creation one, which is a, a terrible goof. Imagine True. that. They, True. they should maybe in the not too distant future they should do a re-release of that or I would try to do mine and add an extra episode. True. Hopefully it'll be successful. And one thing, but let's continue talking about the story of the nat- All right. Christmas about the first ever Christmas day of the Christmas ever and the nativity. And so Mary and Joseph were walking from Jerusalem, I think Israel and the Jerusalem. All the way down to Bethlehem. Wait, was that the place where Jesus was born? I uh, think Bethlehem. Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem. but spoilers. We, but we also know but, that Christmas also, is about Jesus' birthday. And also, obviously, before, of course. And Beth, while they got mm-hmm. to Bethlehem at night, while mid Christmas, and honestly, at mid- a lot of kids actually Christmas have been born midnight, for Christmas. Actually, lot, not just Jesus, a lot. Beth, <laughs> Bethlehem. Well, they went to Beth. Le- travel to Beth, finally reached to Bethlehem, which, albeit being their destination, they saw a man that wouldn't would didn't allow people, Omer um, and Joseph, of to let them rest. So, oh, they can t- they need they would give them a break from the ride, be- and she's going to have a baby. But there was no extra room for except. For once, like you have to think about this. There was no hospital back then. There was no hospital back then. So, yeah, I mean, everyone was born in a hospital. Everyone, but in that time where Jesus was born, there was nothing. There was no hospital. And so. then Mary and Joseph picked the only one single spot that they can t- give themselves a break from all the stressful ride that they've had been the entire her life. And also, the donkey had never been so honored in his or her life. And that donkey would be small one, right? Yeah, and as they reached the city of Bethlehem, they felt as they could turn around and do the whole trip again. Because according to the Donkey Alley Journey to Jerusalem episode, oh, the, where where Anna Lana, the donkey, told all Donkey Alley, Esau, Isa, and Jeremy, and he, the stories about how she carried Mary. Ari and Joseph to Bethlehem um, and, and then got arrested on the one and only single spot they have. She, Angela, I mean, like, I'm going to ask like, Ange, uh, and a lot of felt uh, that she can do the whole trip again. None of her hooves were even split. Yeah, and also, you've, you've heard of Donkey Ollie, Manuel? Yep, it's small one. It was my childhood, Donkey Ollie. Yeah, I heard of him. That was my childhood. I watched all 13 episodes of the show. You too? Yeah, and Thanks. as for Mary and Joseph, and also the genders, uh, they keep getting confused. Uh, is with By making those nativity episodes, they 
they don't know which gender they should take put for the donkey while it's carrying to journey in Jerusalem. Like for example, with Anna Lana, they got what they got in donkey Allah, they got Anna Lana as here her carrying your Joseph. Right, Manuel? Yep, definitely. And also for the crippled lamp, the Max Lucado uh, auto holiday special from nine two thousand, which you probably guys never heard of. Of they had a, had a different gender, which is a boy, and they call and it was Nathaniel the donkey. Yep. You've heard of the clip crippled lamp by Max Lucado, Manuel? Yes. Uh, yes, I did. My I'm first also planning on getting that back. DVD for Christmas too, along with the Donkey Ollie Rome episode on DVD. E. Well, and I'm a small also, one, bro. Don't forget about him. Come on. And also the crippled lamp, Ma and and also the crippled Wait, lamp. Wait, was small Lucado one ever on called DVD. something else, or was and it called also, do else? you know what's the crippled lamp's his name? Joshua. Joshua. I support him so much, but in the crippled lamp, Max Lucado special, I tell him so much. And also Asa the camel too. And I don't forgot what the cow's name, but she's a girl. And I know Isaac the fine young camp. I see. Which is the best and always just a show off and a joke. Just like and sometimes and when Joshua thinks about him, he feels like if Joshua he feels like it, it he always Thinking about the thoughts in his head with his Isaac, the bolt, the lamp keeps bullying him, and then, and the other lamp's laughing while the female lamp feels bad for her for getting bullied. Was it Rudolph mom. the Red Nose Reindeer you were talking about? I'm confused. No, it was the crippled lamp by Max Lucado. Oh, oh, okay, 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 yeah. Sorry, it's because yeah, I like so the first Holy Communion to be And honest. also, Joshua with the part. crippled lamp. He wanted to go to that green. Watch on my screen. But ended up getting stuck in the pit where his, uh, where his foot crippled foot got stuck and almost got eaten by the lion. Where the shepherd saved Joshua's life. That's one of the most dramatic moments. Josh on my screen. And then the shepherd, heard him made, and us stuck him in the, and, and he was born with a crippled leg. And also, the shepherd, it stuck. A, and Joshua thinks the shepherd might have stuck. Or the shepherd, or even God, might have stuck uh, to stuck him in the smelly stable and never get to eat the grass his friends get to eat, and that's very sad, Manuel. And I should make it a sad edit sad. a bit. Like not time. allowed to eat, like but dude. Still, does, 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 like, do you guys know what happens? You guys if you don't hate eat? feeling left out. Obviously. Raise your hand if you guys hate feeling left out. Feeling left out. But like, you, what do you see, mean feeling left out. Like, Joshua wasn't left out or forgotten because I God had a much big God. purpose of him. And also, he, and also, did you know what he did? Let me tell you. The cow, the female cow told him all to sleep very well when they noticed that Nathaniel the donkey with along with Mary and Joseph came into this one single spot that I mentioned earlier. They took the, gave themselves a break and then Joshua notices that Mary was about, is, and Joseph is going to have another, have a baby anytime second and it was Jesus. <laughs> And yep. then the, they the had it, and also the, a call from heaven appeared. And then Joshua noticed that the ba that Nathaniel and I saw the camel and that female cow noticed that the baby was cold, was feeling cold, crying and feeling cold. And then Joshua decides, and then Joshua decides to go to her and make and keep the baby Jesus warm, which is a miracle. And then the shepherd with his sheep that were eating the fresh green grass, they saw the heaven. Only saw and they came to Bethlehem, and they saw the nativity and the birth of Jesus, and that's what happened. That's so cool. Anyway. There is a lot of stories with the nativity, like for example, from the Crazy Fears, the Legend of the Bible, the Superbook, and also the Great, and also the Beginner's Bible, Greatest Fears, and Legend of the Bible, blah blah blah, and also the real reality Guys. movies too. Yeah. My parents said that I gotta go to bed now because of my school tomorrow. Oh man! So um. Oh, I forgot. I just realized it's Sunday. Oh my god! So um, hey uh, guys, um, all um, I'm back. Hey, what's up, bro? Friend? Nothing. I had to get off for a second to oh, make this so Oh, so Alex, I don't think you should be showing that because it's copyrighted. But also um. I think. Uh, oh, yeah, got, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe just. Oh, yeah, you shouldn't have done yeah, that. But also, Why? Um, 
I, I think I, I gotta go now because of my bedtime, because of my school tomorrow. So, uh, good night, guys, and I hope uh, I'll be here. Good night, Don't get night, Good night, 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 as for the nativity, there are so many specials going wrong, overhead, and the genders of the animals, they're all over the place. And this is not, and yeah. And also, and also the narrator mentioned in The Crypto Lamp by Max Lucado that if if Joshua had been other sheep, he would have been that green pasture, pasture that night safe from the lion. And... and don't forget it that and don't forget it, but since Joshua was different with born with a crippled leg like, like I said mentioned I mean like I'm gonna say like I said mentioned earlier he was different by helping to keep the baby Jesus born and so you see a a cell of the camel was witness here to all that happened here that night and and but I am sure that God can please us. Yeah, of course, obviously. And also, anyways, let's talk about the history of Santa Claus. It's gonna be a short one. All right, of course, like everybody knows who Santa is. He's a he's a he's I a know big Santa. Guy who a big guy. We need to talk about the history of Santa Claus. I mean, bro, okay, bro, what's, I what's know Santa it, okay, Claus, bro, but let's just, let's just hear what you had to say. Let's see. All right, so make sure to click the link. Hey, um, guys, I just made last video that the jump scare of, of the Super Mario movie of VG got jump scared. Oh, oh, by the way, speaking of Alicia, this might be a little bit off topic. I actually like the one that made me the laugh the most was where where you, you put the Jeffy scream. That one made me laugh. The and most. also, I'm going to put now, the Jeffy. I just, I just, I just did the FNAF 3 jump scare. Um, I'm just um, doing Gordon's scream. Remember Gordon's scream? And also, uh, Anthony from, from the Owl House runs seasons away. 1 and 2. And speaking of MD, I'm doing a vo I'm still working on this voice see it? video. It's with, on YouTube. With I mean, Amity and Yumi from High Head Puffy Yummy Yumi because they're secondary you know characters what I'm doing the shows. You know what? Wait, by the way, by the way, like, Alicia, by the way, uh, you're Sam. Like, talk about Sam, like, from Danny Phantom. Yeah, she's going to be, uh, she's going to be delayed for a little bit because, you know, I got a lot of homework and everything. So it's going to be delayed for it's about a week or so. It's disgraceful to have homework and homework got to be the worst thing ever. Because uh, yeah, according dude, to this TikToker brain, called Oh, my apologies for swearing. Said, I didn't mean to swear. He thinks apologies. homework should be banned. Do you think my bad, my bad it's for torture? Talking. I mean, yeah, but it's for the reason why is because, dude, like, dude, but like this week is going to be my final exam, so I have to study, dude. I literally got to study people, my Because it exam. helps them go to college and have a successful life without fail. Because who told you people who fail in school and they won't have a successful life? That's not true. I mean, like, I'm going to be like, well, that's, that's not 100% true. true. It's because my you parents don't remember the day of the dress. This, and it doesn't mean have you have to be working at McDonald's for the rest of your life. That's what Arcelo said from this TikToker called Arcelo well, said. Well, that's not 100% true, to be honest. That's not 100% true. True. And there's a lot of rich people who failed in school. Like, for example, Butch Hartman, who's the creator of Danny Phantom, Fairly Odd Parents, Tough Puppy, and Bunsen is a Beast. He, sometimes he failed in school. And I also heard even read or even watched or even saw that he got expelled. And he was and he retired from Nickelodeon since 2018, tragically. But there are these stupid live action remakes. Shows of the Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder, and also with the Loud House called the Really Loud House. Those are live action remake, live action TV show remakes. They just ruining them, Manuel. Why do they keep ruining our childhoods, Manuel? Why? Hello. <laughs> And also, I'm right here. Yeah, so. and like I said, mentioned earlier. I'm here too. And why? I mean, like, like I said, mentioned earlier, Butch Hartman retired after ma making those four shows mentioned earlier in 2018, which is tragically sad. That's what Shane O said. And also, they reboot one of Butch Hartman's shows, The Fairly Odd, so... The Fairly Odder, with the stupid, awful live action remake. They did the same with The Loud House with The Really Loud House. True. 
And yeah. I'm like, I mean, like, I'm gonna be honest, bro. You like, I always hate it when kids show switch switch the style to make them look more modern, and realistic. Just look at Bob the Builder for for years. He was going going good and strong. Um, just look up and it stopped motion. Look at him go whoa. And then what Mattel did, she really really Bob the Builder. And I mean, like, true. Like, we like. That is definitely not Bob. This is not the Honestly. same. Honestly, that dude, his name is Bertram. This is not the same Bob that I knew from my childhood. This is not my like Bob. Mattel also, did a lot of ruin. He they and ruined also taking Narrow City. He makes this video of the greatness of kids shows, and he also mentions about to out uh, to the how about Thomas how the tank engine and also um handy mandy and also little Einstein's and of course that we all hate mickey mouse clubhouse but uh, that's mickey just mouse our opinion. clubhouse yeah that's more that's more even worse to be honest because Honestly, mickey mouse clubhouse, who rather watches the it's scene, like, like you know the, the the mickey mouse's uh uh 2013? 30s classic cartoon style 2013 modern 2013 episodes i is love it steam them. willy or is it Steamboat Willie, it came out in 1928. Yeah, AKA because the it all began with a mouse. mouse in Disney. It all began with a mouse. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and and that was actually Mickey's first appearance, and his first words were hot dog in the 1929 Mickey Mouse short film. And also, oh, wow. uh, what they did in Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, they turned him from a brave man into a child, just like how they turned into Scarlo and from a brave person to a yeah, child. From season four, Win. he was he was like a he was like a proud train, you know. But then in season seven, yeah, that's when everything went down. That was he turned him into a child into a for two reasons. He was scared of the child bridge. wimp, just like Diary of a Wimpy Kid being a wimp, just like no, a wimpy honestly, kid. He was just afraid of a bridge. That's it. Yeah, and he was acting like a wimp, just like Percy and Greg Heffley, the Diary of a Wimpy hey, guys. Kid. Oh yeah, Greg Heffley. Yeah. Oh, my God, I've seen guy. all. I've seen all three movies, but I've I didn't get to see the long the haul. And I didn't see the three D CG. I didn't also three see the three D CGI animated Diary of a Wimpy Kid films. The the first one, which is two series, and also the and also the Roger Cruz, oh, which Alex. may be coming out too. And yeah, also, I know, I Project My Life is Teenage oh, Robot wow. rebooted as hey. coming soon. And also, the Railway series and the TV series was way better than the TV series. But the Railway series and the classic series from seasons one to five were much better than that All Engines Go reboot. And Mattel just really ruined Thomas and Bob the Builder. Sometimes with Nickelodeon, how it was acting homophobic with the Loud House and the Fairly Odd Parents. They just ruined it. And sometimes with Rugrats, when they had CGI specials and SpongeBob. Too. Oh yeah, they definitely ruined the Rugrats. To be honest, with the CGI. And obviously. also Franklin, that Nick Jr. show. You don't, you know Franklin? No way, for real? No way. They had Franklin? the CGI one. Well, no way. For years, Franklin was an anime. Went was doing great in animation Just and not in the nineteen ninety seven. But yeah. when it no came way. to three D CGI reboot, it was just awful. And they did the same with Muppet Babies. With Disney Junior was also Disney was also homophobic sometimes with, with the Muppet Babies. And they had the nineteen. I forgot about Muppet Babies. They never want to make a female character as the protagonist. That's the thing. What do you think? And also with the Di it, Muppet think? Babies, the nineteen eighty four version. I like the original think? one, in my honest opinion. And they made the two thousand eighteen reboot version, I which make it look different. awful, just like Paw True. Patrol, Manuel. Well, yeah, true. I ain't gonna lie. They did the same with Postman Pat and Fireman Sam. Hopefully they won't do the same at Tugs. That Just keep harsh. them the way they are. But the All Engines Go reboot that looks like the babyest version of My Little Pony, they, it's the worst Hello. one. Alex. And also Gracie the CGI might... Yeah. Why? Why yeah. Is Gracie <clears throat> My bad. My bad. And the CGI version of the my and the CGI My Little Pony version of 2021, the series, it didn't look that great. I mean, like I'm gonna say, like it's it's okay, but I prefer the Equestria Girls version because you don't know you're neutral to My Little Pony, Manuel. Yeah, I'm honestly not into but, My Little Pony. But, but like, maybe I if I but according to Phantom Strider, it says that My Little Pony the uh, it is says it's one of the best. Kids cartoons, but I will try to send you a link to Phantom Stars of top six best kids cartoons, and you sure. will understand 
how good My Little Pony is. You know what I mean. Equestria Girls, I've seen it before. But you've seen or heard of Equestria Girls, but I think you sort should of, also watch sort it of, too. I think yes. you should also watch it on Netflix. I love Netflix. I know. And also, they had the live-action Kim Possible 2019 movie. And the Lion King live-action movie was bad, too. Hopefully, they, they won't do the same with Hunchback of Notre Dame, which would be work, way, work, way worse and would terrify students and give them nightmares. But the animated one, it gives less nightmares, Manuel. But the live-action one, I, ho I, don't, I think it's going to be worse, Manuel. Yeah, true, to be honest. And also with The Little Mermaid, yeah, they had yes, Ariel. They showed Ariel, the live-action Ariel. I mean, like, I'm just really like, what the hell is that? That is definitely oh. not Ariel. That looks like Nicki Minaj with red braids and Ariana Grande, Beyonce and Cardi B and Cupcake K. And true. that is not our Ariel. Because, Ar no offense to African-American... Americans, no racism, because they, they use this African-American voice actor for the live-action version of Little Mermaid instead of a white one. But with the African-American version one day, it made it worse, Sir Manuel. Oh. Yeah. And it's not right. the same Ariel that we knew from our childhoods, even though I haven't seen the Little Mermaid live-action animated one yet i haven't seen i mean that's like saying if you saw the thomas big tour uh <laughs> show that's like saying we did that did you or no yeah but anyways let's i know that this is a little bit off topic and also they made remakes of the sml puppets oh yeah they did honestly I, I, it's because dude, but thank God was they, them. and also with teen times go and Ben 10, their no, reboots are just no, awful. No, let's and not let's not talk about that. We don't even we we don't want to know. If you guys want to see more of these kind of stuff, yeah, and, and go also to the live stream of what Alicia did actually. And Scooby Doo. But I prefer the original Scooby Doo yeah, specials from better. the sixties, nineteen sixty nine, nineteen seventy, he's in eighties and nine sometimes yeah, nineties and and also, and I, without being off topic, let's talk about Santa Claus. Here's the link, Manuel. So you'll talk about his history and biography with him. Santa Claus. Say. Yes. Oh, okay. You should talk about his origin. You should talk about. Talk about uh, Santa wait, Claus. What, what's... The history what? of Santa Claus. Oh, okay. Okay. And we just got a link. Yeah, I yeah. sent it to you. Uh, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. And then after you mentioned that about Santa created his nice and naughtiness, I'm also going to mention about the disturbing truth of about Christmas. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah. who, what do we know about Santa Claus? Well, for us Thomas fans, we all know what, what they call it in Santa Claus from, the, from Christmas. the episode Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree, what Ringo Starr said. They called him Father Christmas. Father Christmas. And it's true. They call him that. They call him that Father Christmas. He's also known as Father Christmas. He's also Saint Nicholas. I love or Christmas. Saint Nick. Or Chris Just like King in the song Chris Jolly and Saint Nicholas. Yeah. And also the ruined Saint Nick from yep. and, the or Happy simply Holiday just song. Santa. And, and he is Kringle a legendary character Christmas. originating in Western <laughs> Christian culture who is said to bring children gifts during the late evening and overnight hours on Christmas Eve of toys and candy or coal or nothing, depending on whether they are nice or naughty or nice. He supposedly accomplishes this with the aid of Christmas elves who make the toys in his workshop often said to be at the North Pole, the f and the flying reindeer who pull his sleigh through the air. The modern character of Santa is based on folklore traditions surrounding St. Nicholas, the English figure of Father Christmas, and the Dodge figure of Sinterklaas. Is it? Is it the code? Sinterklaas. Okay. Santa, Santa is generally this, despite as a a portly, jolly, white-bearded man, often with spectacles, wearing a red coat with white fur collar and cuffs, white fur-cuffed red trousers, red hat with white fur, and black leather belt and boots, carrying a bag full of the gifts for children. He is commonly portrayed as laughing in a way that sounds like, ho, ho, ho. 
This image became popular in the United States and Canada in the 19th century due to the significant influence of the 1823 poem, quote, A Visit from St. Nicholas. Caricaturists and political cartoonist Thomas Nest also played as a role in the creation of Santa's image. This image has been maintained and reinforced through song, radio, television, children's books, family Christmas traditions films, and advertisements and advertising. All right. Uh, do I read this or do I stop? Yeah, you should talk about his origins. Okay. He's okay. Of course. Let's talk about St. Nicholas, <laughs> a.k.a. Santa Claus. St. Nicholas was a 4th century Greek Christian by shop of Mura, now Demir, of the region of Lycia in the, Rom in the Roman Empire. Today in Turkey, Nicholas was known for his generation's gifts to the poor, in particularly presenting the three improvement daughters of a crisis <laughs> Christian salaries so that they would not Bro, what have is to that? Become... What is that? Oh, uh, uh, do I say it? Is it because there's this there's, there's a word there? Uh, uh, Make it become... do, do I say it? Do I say it? It's a bad word. Um, how about uh, not say it? Don't say it, don't say it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when I don't have skip to the bad become... word. Skip the bad word. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad word, but it's just something really mean. Yeah, you mean. Uh, I, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. That Christians with dowry so that they would not have to become... Uh, so they will not blue? become what those people call that sort of stuff. Okay? Yeah. He was very religious from an early age and devoted his life internally to Christianity in constant in the continental Europe, more precisely, more precisely, the Netherlands, Belgium, Austria, the Caesar Republic, and Germany. He is usually portrayed as a bearded bishop in conical robes. In 1087, while the Greek Christians inhabitants of Mura were subjected by the newly arrived Muslim Seku density. And soon after, Greek Orthodox Church had been declared to be the Siskamins by the Catholic Church. 1055, 1040, no, 1055, oh, 10, oh my God, I'm so sorry. 1054 after death or AD. A group of mansions from the Italian Greasy, city of Bora but... removed the major bones of Nicholas's skeleton <laughs> from his sarcophagus in the Greek church in Maria. Over the objection of the monks, Maria the, Maria, the sailors took the bones, the bones of Saint Nicholas to Bria, where they are now enshrined in a basilic via San Nicolai. Sailors from Bria collected just half of Nicholas's skeleton leaving all the minor fragments in church sarcophagus. These were later taken by Ventinan sailors during the First Crusade and placed in vents, where a church to St. Nicholas, the patron of sailors, was built on the San Nicolo, I mean, Nicol Alito, Sorry, I can't pronounce that. But St. Nicholas vandalizes his sarcophagus can still be seen in the St. Nicholas's Church in Maria. This tradition has been has confirmed to two important scientific investigations of the relics in Brora and Vancey, which revealed that the relics in the two Italian cities belong to the same skeleton. St. Nicholas was later claimed as a, quote, Patreon saint of many device groups, from archers, sailors, and children to pawnbrokers. He is the patron saint of both Amsterdam and Moscow. Hold on. During, during the Middle Ages, often on the evening before his name day of December 6, children were bestowed gifts in his honor. <laughs> this date was earlier than the original day of the gifts for the children, which moved in the course in a formation and its opposition to the veneration of saints in many countries on the 24th and 25th of December, which we all know what it is. Christmas Eve, 
and Christmas Day. The custom of gifting to the children at Christmas was propagated by Martin Luther as an alternative to the previous very popular gift custom on St. Nicholas. The focus, the interest of the children to Christ instead of the veneration of saints. Wait, Martin wait, Luther first suggested the Christ, wait, the Christ wait, wait, kind, as the bringer wait. of gifts. But Nicholas remained popular as gifts bearer for the people. You told me about some of the stuff right here, actually, about his history right here. Yeah, right, I'm done. Who wants to read? Who wants to read? That's yeah, right. and also let me mention. I'm just gonna mention. Also, San, fun fact about Santa: he has a lot of elves in his workshop that makes a lot of toys, get a lot of presents for Christmas, and also he he has elves you like Dasher and Vincent and Roger Vincent, Donald Cooper and Commodore Vincent, and especially Rudolph, which is the lead with the red nosed reindeer. And, he's, with, he's and, like... the guy of the sleigh. and he has other characters like Frost, fr character friends like Frosty, blah, 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 Frosty, Jack Frost, and Polar Express, and Kip from Home Alone, and blah, 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 even though it's from the North Pole, but he's still in Chicago, Illinois nowadays, but he's moved somewhere because he's already grown up. Same with if Hero Boy, which is the, Hero Boy's name in the Polar Express, and also Elf in the movie Elf, too, and also, and also... Oh, he has a sleigh, and also he has a nice and naughty list where they're, they're accepting children to be good and bad. And speaking of nice or naughty list, this is disturbing. I'm going to tell you about the disturbing truth about Christmas. Please listen to the disturbing truths about Christmas. So some of you may, please, please some of you may uh, are, may like, or not going to like this, the disturbing truth about Christmas. Oh, wait, before, anyways, before we do, we gotta save your description as advice of what we're gonna say next, okay? Your description hey, as advised and warning. And as this a warning, children, you, this, and if you guys did not ignore the warning, is, then this, that's your problem. This, this, com oh, nice. this uh, segment, cont this? this history seg segment oh, contains a, one of disturbing, disturbing hey, facts this. and some gory talking wow. bloody and contains a lot of violence and suggestive dialogue you. you are guys. i like it which <laughs> is not suitable for children under the age of 13. so if you you're you're if you have children and i mean like i'm gonna say like if you're like if you still have kids watching with you watching this live stream that are are at the age that are under 13 years old Please get them out of the stream and let only allow kids at the age of thir or oh, kids over at 13 and up uh, to watch the stream. So viewer discretion is advised. advised. All right. So this is a disturbing truth about Black Peter. So Black Peter is a Zwarte Piet and is a demonic dwarf from the folk lore of Belgium and the Netherlands, and he appears each Christmas as the evil helper of Santa Claus, or Sinterklaas, to punish children for their bad behavior. You've heard of Black Peter, uh, Manuel. Sort of, <laughs> but yes. But he looks creepy. Alex? Creepy Congrats. from, the, you know, the Dutch and Belgian version of Santa Claus. You've seen the one, that creepy yeah, one, what do you think? You've seen it, Manuel? Yep, I've seen it before. It's creepy. It just scared. It just scared me when I was a kid. But I, but then when my parents told me that it was so scary, I just said, "Oh my god, I don't want to do it anymore." You know? So what do you think? No. You saw. You actually saw that. I did saw it when I was a kid. I see because I was. I see because I didn't know what it was. My sister was the one that told me. You actually just had nightmares. Well, I had one nightmare about it, but that was it. Nothing else. What did he do in your nightmare? Uh, let's just say he just probably did what Michael Myers would do in those Halloween horror movies. Yeah, yeah. and he also looks like Huggy Wuggy to me. And he also, looks like one of those creepy Teletubbies or something, honestly. And also those creepy Blank Room Soup characters and this creepy ice cream commercial with the and creepy ice cream girl staring. You've seen it, Manuel. Yeah, exactly. It makes you throw up. 
honestly, it just makes me want to just like eat myself, like something like that. I don't know. And to throw up. This is how they they may actually made that in Great Britain, and a lot of and th- and this is one of the reasons why Brit the United can 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 get dramatic sometimes. The same with the beaching X with Doctor Beaching, Alex. and how they add the scariness to one of the their shows too, Alex. and make one of their scary logos with the BBC 1990 logo. What you, a lot of people had nightmares. Like, did you had any nightmares of scary logos before, Manuel? Uh, wait, what's the question again? Some scary logos, the ending, uh, and no. the beginning and ending of a new movie or a TV show or a sitcom or special. Hmm, I think I did one time. I think I with did. what? Which type of logo were you? Did you have a nightmare of? Hmm, let me remember. I don't remember as much. Hang on, I just need to try to remember what it was. Uh, uh I I don't have it honestly. I I lost it. it yeah, I know. I know. Some logos that can be it's scary, like I, Scream I, Gems. It, it, it did Vine. happen to me, I swear, but I don't know which one, though. I, just, hey, I know it happened to me. I just hey, don't know why. You go. showed up late. Zap. Who showed Zap. up late? It oh. was Train Fan 4636. Oh, hey, what's up, bro? You the one with burning alcohol time. locomotives. His name is Max. Hey, Max. I think Are he's AFK. He's AFK. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Got a mic or something? Come on, bro. Yeah, and also, Black Peter also look looks like the like Momo, that creepy character. Oh and yes, yes. Let's talk about him. Please, 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 I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. And Blind Maiden and Slenderman, too. and Jeff the Slenderman, Killer. Is, dude, Slenderman's not real. Everyone says he's real. Honestly, is he? That and or also, what? this eight feet tall lady in Japan. You've heard of it, Manuel. Oh yes, I heard of it. Yes, yes. I you c- yes. please, she you she can literally. What kill. in the fuck we talking whoa, about whoa, today? Whoa, 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 bro! Stop whoa, swearing, bro, 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 bro. Yo, stop swearing. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that. that was stop, kind of funny. I kill us, it, or else I'm gonna be out, yo. What? What just happened? What just happened? Mex said the f word. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I said like no, no, no. You got scared because I said, "Whoa, dude, it's not swearing, dude." It's because that's what, that's what the streamer Make a Dirty always says. You guys ever heard of Make a Dirty, the streamer, the Fortnite streamer? So I'm back. So, do you see the new video that I made today? I mean, yesterday. I haven't oh, seen it yet. Alex. Oh, whoa, dude, chill. We chill. don't care, and also. Let me continue talking about Black Peter. So Black Alex? Peter is is this? Everyone is, makes those kind known. of memes. They put the Peter from Family Guy into. Oh my god! It's just so racist. It's just so racist. Just Alex? mute your mind. Okay. Okay. Just shut up. Thank you. Well, Santa Claus is fake. What? It's called Father Christmas, my guy. It's Father Christmas. Yes. Like yes. Christmas. But anyways, let's read this one about Black Peter, a.k.a. Santa Claus. So Santa Claus is the Dutch and Belgian version of Santa Claus. He is also known as Saint Nicholas. Oh Saint Nicholas. And the difference between Saint Nicholas and Saint Nicholas is because Black Peter is also known as Saint Santa Claus. Which is, is a sinner version, or, which is an evil sinner, which is an evil sinner of Santa Claus, which I hate, which we hate sin, people that sin because it's offensive to God. And they also call him Sint and Claus. I don't believe in God. And okay, also, that's understandable. That's that's literally understandable. But like, no. And no also one. the difference between and also Santa Claus and is actually a saint because he's also known as Santa. Because uh, he he is he sometimes has religion in him, but the Saint Claus with with Black Peter uh, actually is a sinner inner Claus that believes in sin from the devil. Well, Santa Claus is a, is a saint. That's what the difference. Because Santa is Get a saint. Get that SpongeBob looking thing off the screen. And also, what? Black Peter is a sinner. What? Hey yo, what did he say? 
some motherfucker was putting some. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, 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 so, anyways, let's continue the story. All right, so where are we? Oh, yeah, so Santa Claus is actually a saint, <laughs> which he's a Christian and believes in God, but Black Peeper, a.k.a. St. Nicholas, is actually a sinner because he believes in he <laughs> believes the devil. And he's, and according to legend, he triumphed over a devilish dwarf called Zwart Pete, Black Peter, and made him his slave. And also, Black Peter lives in a coal mine in Spain. His skin is black because of the soot and coal dust from the mine. His hair is singed by the fire from all the chimneys he has to climb down. And that's, that's how he is. He spent the year spying on children of Belgium and Holland, taking note of who has been good and who has been wicked. And on Christmas Eve, he sets out from his coal mine, squeezing himself through the narrow tunnels and riding off on his coal cart, which is pulled by plague-ridden undead rams. And every Christmas, Black Peter is forced to accompany Santa Claus as he goes from house to house, disturbing his presence, while Santa rewards the good children. And Black Peter takes delight in, punish in punishing the bad ones. And children who misbehave do not receive any presents from Santa. And Black Peter will leave a bundle I also of heard this, or like, a lump of coal in the I also heard Christmas this from, stocking I don't know, as a like, warning. Alicia, Alicia, uh, sorry to bother you, but like, I got to ask you something, though. Like, you've seen American Dad, right? The Christmas special when Steve, that episode when Steve becomes bad and everything. And like, he says that Krakus will go after him if he doesn't behave. Like, is, is, is Krakus even real? Like, is and, like I'm going to be honest with you, like, I don't think. Yeah. Well, some people may be believe, you know, according to people who are interested in creepy videos on TikTok, like this TikToker called Sebastian K22. You've heard of him, Manuel? Yeah, I heard. I heard a lot of TikTokers like him. Yeah. What about him? Yeah, and Manuel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the children have been really bad or not have not he did the, his warning, then black people will snatch them from their beds. And throw them into his sack, which is oh full my of god. Okay, rest. first of all, first of all, that sounded like so racist to be honest. I ain't gonna lie, it does. And he kidnaps the boys and girls and takes them back to his coal mine where he chains them up and make, makes them his slaves. And the poor so children are forced true. to dig coal forever while black people seems himself poking them with sharp pins. And if they ever grow too sick of or tired of work, then black people will eat and kill them. I see. So, I'm just, war I mean, like, I'm going to be this story, like, I'm just warning you guys. No, it's fine, though. You're good. But anyways, good. Good. I have nothing else to say because of that disturbing truth. Because we saved the worst for less, just like how we saved the best. Okay, I'm back. The, the Christmas, the worst, the Christmas, the worst right. for last. The, Hello, the, the Great Depression, which is the worst, and Christmas being the best of last with, with so, the so. Christmas having another, having a disturbing <clears throat> and creepy and, and ter scary, bad and scary, uh, scary and bad ending of, uh, of its disturbing truth about Black Peter, which is so racist. Wait, so, so raise your hand if you hate him. So, um, Forget raise it. your hand, guys, if you hate black. Hold on. All so, right. And central. So, let's. So, we hate racism. And also. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, racism has been there since, like, what? The United States since what? How long ago? And one thing I got to say, Better. Max, guess what I got? A model to God. You're excited. You're not going to believe what I got. So, um, so, yesterday I went to the party. Better. I got the other one. Have fun the party. I'll, so, me. let me show you what I got. To, a Pennsylvania Rara GG1. It's for Black Friday. Oh, oh wait. I think Max. you showed me, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, oh no. Max, Max, you're going to see. Oh, you saw it? No. No. Yeah. I yeah. hate pigtails. 
No. Wait, 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 wait. The Amtrak AM Sands were replacing that engine? Yes, that the engine? GT1. And also, Max, you seeing this GT1 that I got? I hate pigtails. I hate yeah. pigtails. <laughs> I can't stand <laughs> that pigtails, dude. Max, Max do you like my GT1? If it's, if it, is it a Penzi? It's a Pennsylvania Railroad, and it's Golden Spike Centennial Livery, Americans Railroad Heritage. Alex? I hate Penzi, first of all. Um, I guess I'm Terrence. Cool, but, but I hate pigtail legends. I, I'm Terrence. Biggest head ninja. I'm o I'm only a New York Central person, so I'm a fan of New York Central too. Guys, I'm Terrence. Alex. To be honest, I'm glad Penn Central tore up the pen. Alex. Yo, guys, it's Terrence. Terrence the tractor. Terrence the tractor. So, did you like my GG1 model train that uh, Max? Sure. And also, I'm planning on getting a Flying Scotsman nice. British Steel Locomotive train set for Christmas, too. I got a Penzi S2. Really? That's cool. I don't own anything from the Pensive. Let's see the if Terrence can be, can be useful for clearing up the snow. Let's see. But I do. Terrence. I only have the GG1. Terrence. I like, um, I like, I, uh, the pet. Okay. I actually like. Let's see, New York Central is okay, Railroad. Penn Central, I mean, despite having uh, having many derailments, but it's okay. It's an okay railroad. Well, New York, Wasn't there like a famous railroad but Pennsylvania, incident But happened? the Penn Central Railroad always screws up. They always I, know screw they screw, up. I know they screwed up, but yeah, 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 Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. But they I were replacing, like, the AM7s were replacing the G1s. And they... And also, it's one of the worst bankruptcies the they ever had in United States history. AEM 7 draws a second worst. Until another gigantic bankruptcy that happened later in the 21st century, somewhere in the 2000s. But uh, it's, I forgot what it is. And History New Dark did a great job explaining how that, the Penn Central is a very absolute worst failure in the entire world. Do not make fun of the Penn Central. You're gonna yeah, understand. You gotta watch out, buddy. Someone yeah, keeps but I this. won't make. Pe fun I, of understand. <laughs> I, I, oh, I understand. The pen, the pen Central was a complete fucking. Failure. And there was actually but, something else oh, that we forgot about oh, to mention I about, about said, Santa Claus. I heard him said the F word. I heard him said the F word. Whoa, okay, whoa, whoa, I did not hear him say the F word. Uh, anyway, I, I, did not, I did not hear him saying the F word. I, I love that. the Penn Central. Well, not really. CNJ is the best, but this is a close second. Well, yeah, no. do you like New Jersey Transit? No, that's, there's a difference between the central yeah, railroad. Yeah, do you like the central railroad? And speaking of central railroad, New Jersey, I'm going to see the central railroad of New Jersey 113060 switcher steam locomotive at the Reading and Northern Railroad in Minersville, Pennsylvania during its Santa Claus excursions. Maybe next week on Saturday. Oh, yeah. You're going to love the photos and videos that I'm going to send to you, Max. Right. I saw 4109. That was literally an XCNJ GP40. And also, have you been to the Amtrak Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum? Have you been to the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum and saw a Central Railroad in New Jersey locomotive like the Cad Camelback number 592? I have never been there and I don't plan on going there because BNO Railroad Museum overrated. Like, that's understandable, honestly. I mean, i never been to one of those, but I would like to come one day. You know? Well, you've money. been to the East Coast before, Manuel. East Statement. Coast, I've been, like, at least one time. I wish you can come another time to see me and Alan. Well, and let's Alex. just well, let's just hope we can do that in the future, my guy. We don't know when. Maybe or next where, year. Maybe you should go to a. You should ask your mom to go to sign up. Well, for that depends. That college. depends on my mom itself. Alex, but yes, you should but tell yes. your mom if you want to sign up. If you want to go to, to this Connecticut college in Stanford called UConn. Space, sure, sure. Let's see if my mom would agree about it. If she doesn't, then, like, you know, that's just fine. Oh, you know? but, yeah. but I think she might. I don't know. Okay, I'll okay. So, 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 yesterday I went to the party. You saw in my story. Yes. It was, it was, it was amazing. I, I just ate um, lasagna and other food. Oh, and also don't forget to mention that Black Peter also reminds me of Mr. Nosy Bunk, that creepy British ish cart and also the boob uh, and also Mr. Nosy Bunk, that creepy British person character with the mask from the Jigsaw TV series from nineteen seventy nine to nineteen eighty four. 
And it ended in 1984 when Thomas came out, Manuel. Yep, Jake's that's, song. That's actually true. And Mr. Nosy Bonk, if he act, and he is also a serial killer, too. And also oh, yeah, still I heard, I heard of him. Thing. Well, if you stare at his eyes, then you're most probably going to have, I mean, like, I'm going to like, if you actually stare at his eyes, you're probably going to have him stuck in your head for 10 years. No well, lie. 10, well, 10 this years, will yes. Be stuck in your head for 10 years. The same with Black Peter. Because if hey, you actually stare at Black stop, Peter, please, you're going to have him stuck in your head for 10 years. No <laughs> lie. And also, story. I'm going to try to draw a fan art of Black Peter, too. Okay, oh I'll show God. you my story. And, and, and my what people. would your reaction be to it, Manuel? That would be That's lit. That. But honestly, like, since I'm doing your request, like, of Sam, I want you to do another request for me. Come on. You got to do it. Yeah. Okay, just story? draw Jenny and Vega with Santa hats. Like, you know, in the festival. Santa hats you know? with the Christmas hats. And I'm also working on Star Butterfly and Jenny yeah, um, giving yeah. Marcos and Sheldon yeah, do, Christmas Yeah, you should do Star Manuel. Butterfly, dude. Come on. I'm doing yeah. Star Butterfly and Jenny giving... Their Christmas yeah. gifts to their boyfriends, Marco and Sheldon. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. And also, I'm gonna try to do a fan art of Black Peter or making the Caillou door, Little Bill, Kylan, her boyfriend, Tokiro, and Zara and Annabelle from Goranime as their slaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever done like, a Caillou gets grounded drawing or no? I'm doing a Kai gets grounded, Dork gets grounded, Little Bell Satari, Kylie and Satari, Tokiro, which is Satari's boyfriend, Bill. drawing. Yeah, and, and also yeah. Zara and Annabelle gets grounded, drawing of um, them get being, being their slaves. Elijah. I see. Um, yeah. Elijah? Elijah. I got Elijah, so yes? Alex, Alex talking to you. I got a request for Elijah. Look, look I'll show you something. Yes, Elijah. Uh, draw look, this is when I was in the party, you see? What That's did you cool. say, Max? I said, Elijah, draw a CNJ EMD GP40P. I'll draw a CNJ GP40P and idea? also an F40 uh, and, and Metro New Jersey Trans Pennsylvania Road 4636, which you I like. And so we're like one in Western 4519 and 40 and New Jersey Transit 4502 and also 4509 and also 40. Five, 4635. Well, that's amazing of, of and also 642, and also Amtrak ACS64 number 662, and it's phase two, and also it, and 606, and it's King Tut livery. Top rap got all of these locomotives. And did you know that Metro is going to have commuter trains, new commuter trains of the SD70 Max? Yes, yes, and I, they're saying they're replacing the F40 something like that. I hate it. Well, they're not really well. They're not really replacing Hopefully them yet. They're ordering. The... Up real quick, up real quick. Yeah, yeah, but it sounds like they're replacing them. I mean, think well, about it. it sounds well, like first of all, they have to test thing... them first. One at a time. One at a time. Go ahead. Well, go ahead, test them. Go ahead. And also, cool. imagine. Cool. It, and I just hope they don't have the to... Rough Riders. And I just imagine if. No, but I the noticing their six axle, no. and I just hope it's not the freight style truck design, just like the SDP forty five and the P thirty CH and the General Electric E sixty because those were bad. And I hope those, I hope it has passenger style trucks, just like the EMD E eights. I love E eights. Sure. Yeah, um, and there haven't been any E eights. There haven't been any EMD E units, the newer ones. So, um, and, and Amtrak hasn't ordered e, 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 e units since the seventies. But imagine if they did. But imagine if they did and re, replacing the SDP forty Fs. It would be nice. That's impossible. Because what do you mean impossible? Imagine, like be be specific, my guy. What do you mean impossible? Be specific. What if they used passenger style truck designs? Just like what if they used passenger style truck designs instead of six axle freight style truck designs? I love mm. like thinking about this actually. Now that I'm thinking about this, I think you might have a point about something about that, Alasia. Then they the wouldn't point. have that. Then you know what I'm trying to say. You know, the point, no, yeah, is I, I, get saying, saying, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You're just trying to but make the thing uh, is uh, why e Amtrak would have had some EMD E units that were built in the 70s that look similar to the F40 PA. H H's. It's because instead of using six axle freight style truck design, use the six axle passenger style truck design 
just like the F40PHs, which would have made them more sense. And you and know that would that was be, actually a would bad be income with riders, the F40PHs as well. That was also a bad riders, design for them too. Smooth riders. You know what I'm trying to say. Yes, yes. But uh, you know, like the F40PHs were badly designed back then, you know? Like, for example, take a look about the 1996 Silver Springs crash. Like that incident, the the March train hit the side of the of the F forty PH steel tank, and it started rupturing, and it caught fire, and the fire. Yeah, and also the, the e, and we all know that the oh, E eight were hell? forty years old what? by the seventies and got replaced by the F forty PH. It is true. It's true. But what he said that is very very true. But like. But wait, back in 1999, didn't they respond to the accident of the of the Silver Springs accident by making more well, coaches, I, something uh, like that? They say they want to make design new crashes, you know, preventing accidents that like. I mean, I know there were new windows that were over that were not overbuilt back then because you know the Mark passengers couldn't escape because the windows were overbuilt and they wouldn't shatter. Have so you ever heard of trapped. something called a door? They're on the side. My guy, my guy, how would you find a door in the middle of something? You gotta escape from a window, dude. Like, um, if smoke is filling up your thing and like you can't find a way out, like I'd rather just jump for it. Like, if you were trapped inside an apartment that's on door. fire, you have two options: either go outside from the door or jump out of the window. I go prefer jumping the out the window. I'd rather jump out the window. I mean, would you burn to death? Would you like burning to death or die from falling? Obviously, what would you do? I'd rather die from falling. Than dying from fire. I'd rather do that. Even though if I don't land head first, you know? I mean, that's what people say, you know? That's what, that's what a lot of people say. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that video so much. I love that. It's the best. Rescue me! Oh, no. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you so Hello. much for watching this live stream. Hopefully, we'll see you, you guys later. Bye, everyone. Hey, I'm Elijah. Can I tell you something before you leave? You can also follow me on other platforms like TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord. If the yeah, invitation link doesn't expire, hey, um, Elijah, if you're actually watching this, then you would. I will highly recommend you sending me the link. Hey, I'm Elijah. Can I tell you something before you leave? And also, let me finish. And also, Deviant Art, Art, uh, and Tumblr, Spotify, New Grants, Pixar, Pixar, Patreon, PlayStation. If you actually have it, too. And also, Alan, what do you want to tell me? I mean, you mean Alex. Um, so you saw the story that I posted yesterday that I went to the big party. I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. You should see it. It's on my I... story. <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna check it right yeah. now after this live stream. But anyways, and until next time, this is Amity Planet 4449 fan, and I'll wish you all good luck. Good night and bye to you and see you guys That's later all, and hustle away. See you guys later. Peace. God bless you all. God bless you.